Watching the Barn TV tonight's very, very, very special guest, the legendary Colin Dale. Hello. The equally legendary Fabio. Yo, 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 yo. And owner and operator, Rudy Junkie. Hello. Right, gentlemen, how do you feel that went this evening? Yeah, go on, Cole. Uh, do you know what? Really good. I've, I've been coming down here for a couple of years, and what's great about this club, every time I come down, every couple of months, it's, it's always on, you know, this upwards elevation thing so it's gr really great we had a really good night tonight i think it's the second time we played together yeah yeah, yeah 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 and uh, they're always slamming. always always it's, it's you know me and Cody. it's really funny because we, we grew up around the corner from each other and so it's we're like friends we're like old really old but we are old friends and it's amazing that we both kind of had different paths, but we meet together down here. Yeah. And it's just, you know, it's, it's just amazing. And it's just, you know, it's a nice vibe and people kind of know what they, they want to listen to, which it really helps as a DJ. Because a lot of the time, you know, house has got, it's very generic now. You don't know what house is. People say this and that and label it, but you don't know. But down here, they're just like, as long as you play good music, it's all good, so. And it's good right, to see right. this man as well, because he's a don. You know, I, I, I think I think when it comes to music, I hear a lot of names mentioned, and this guy is one of the three, four people that I know that everything we listen to today is down to him. And he's the humblest yeah. man, he doesn't shout very loud, but, and it's the truth. I, I, I will say that till the cows come home. This guy is a proper legend, not like guys that started in 91 and made a couple of tunes. This guy was around from 84. He used to, you know, he bought Cybertron by Claire in 1984 and he brought me to like electro nights and you know, stuff like that. He's an absolute legend, man. And I just love DJing with him because I hear tunes that I've never heard before. And that's what I came into the game. That's what great DJs do. And you know, he's, He's, he's definitely one of the best. Yeah. And he's, he's, he's going to give me some no, money. He's going to give me a good wager for that. Exactly. You know what, it's actually, it's actually a true story. We, we did grow yeah. up together. Yeah, we did. And um, we, we, we were like the best of friends yeah, when we started out DJing and yeah. that. And it's, it's great to see it like 20, 25 years yes, later. Yeah. You know, we've kind of established ourselves in our own scenes. Yeah. And, and like Pat said tonight, we we done our own thing and then we come together yeah, man. on it and it's always good when yeah. we do it. Because There's an understanding between yeah, us. Yeah, because know? we've got the same, whatever it is with Colin playing his music and me playing mine, <laughs> whatever, that's the emphasis, it's got to have a groove. You know, that's what we're into, music with grooves. It's not mm. robotic, it's not too electric. Mm. It's always got to have some kind of movement the, the and some funk. funk. funk it's got to, it's got yeah. to. And that's why not enough DJs for me have that emphasis with their music anymore. Mm. You know, everything seems to have got really robotic and really kind of stayed for me. But when I hear kind of like old kind of vocals in techno, man, it's just like incredible. But this man as well. Yeah, we got the voodoo. Yeah, man. You know, because, you know, I was saying it to a mate of mine, we were coming down tonight and there are not many clubs in the South Coast where you can go and hear pretty much all the happening DJs at the moment, they all come down here and you know, we've got to give max respect to yeah. this guy for, yeah. for doing it, you know, continuously plugging on, never giving up yeah. and you know, whenever you come down here, always smile on his face. Yeah, always, always no matter what, yeah. always. Never seen this guy like in a moody yeah, or, or you know, always. Even if it's a bad so, night, I can kind of tell when he's not happy, but he's always got that smile, man. And as Colin said, you know, it's a, it's a lot, it's a kind of progression. Every time you come here, it just gets better and better. Yeah, man. so definitely. Respect to him. Thank man. you. Man. What man. is, Jeez. in particular, your choices for this evening? Because obviously, you've over the course, as guys are saying, you picked some massive headliners since since you've been here, really. And kind of these guys, what drew you to these guys particularly, as a from a promoter standpoint? Right back from the day, back to 1990s when it was all happening. 
Big time. The days of Central Park, all the dance 91s, mm -hmm. yeah, dance yeah, 90 yeah. parties, yeah, yeah. all that, rain dance. You know, th these guys always stood out, always been a big fan of these guys. And, you know, it's such a, uh, an honour to be working with you guys. Likewise. Big time. Yeah, man, absolutely. Respect. Absolutely. Respect. absolutely. It's always been there. You know, it's a mutual always. respect. And, you know, what me and Colin yeah. were saying earlier, you know, part of DJing's personality and, and, you know, it's not just kind of going out and DJing, because if you're a dick, you're, you're not, you know, you're not going to get the respect. And that's why, mm. you know, we've lasted so long because that's mm. the part of it. You know, we're decent people mm. and, 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 you know, we, we are kind of like, we excel in our craft and mm. we're, we're veterans now. We know what we're doing. Mm. And I think, you know, someone like Matt knows that. He can book us and he knows me and Colin know what we're doing mm. and we're going to come down there and do a job. And, and, and that's why, you know, no respect to everyone. It's a really good night. And Portsmouth as well, it used back in the day, it was like... Portsmouth massive. Yeah, man. It's, <laughs> the South Coast has always been into proper music, like, as far back as I can remember. So it's good that he's, he's pushing it to, to everyone out here because it, it needs it, man, definitely. Nice, and it's good to see you guys um, obviously playing quite a lot of, of variation of stuff. Yeah, man. There's some classics in there, there's some new bits in there. Yeah. What are you guys up to tonight, uh, at the moment on a kind of production level? Uh, well, uh, I've recently restarted my abstract dance record label, which is kind of linked to the uh, old radio show I had that uh, I'd done a few years ago in Kiss FM. Mm -hmm. uh, we've relaunched it, um, hooking up with a lot of new talent at the moment. Uh, it's the reason why I do it. So, so much talent, unheard talent out there. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got the new release for that. Uh, the next one's. Uh, October the 7th from a guy called Sir Lord Comix, mm -hmm. uh, very much on the Detroit tips. So still trying to push the new music, just always trying to push the new. Me and Fab were saying earlier on, we get asked to play loads of old school gigs. Yeah. We love the old school music, mm -hmm. but for me personally, yeah. it's always been Absolutely. about pushing the new Absolutely. music, Absolutely. pushing Absolutely. new talent, yeah. and it will, it will always be, you know, um, the most important thing is, is pushing new music and new talent. Because there's so much unsigned talent out there. Yeah, it's absolutely, totally, it's true, totally, true. totally. And I mean, w with the way that things have worked out with the whole digital thing and it being easier for people to, to do their own productions at home, it just means there's so much more yeah, music. For real but you know, they, you know, there's so much good music to, that just get missed out on. I miss it sometimes, and then mm -hmm. miss, and then play it maybe ten months, six months, yeah. two months after it's released. Just shows you how much music's out there. And I listen to music constantly, absolutely, absolutely non-stop, man. every day. You know, and do you find it hard when you're kind of like signing a record or approach to sign a record? There's so much there that you kind of have to filter it down to something. No, no, because I know what I want to put yeah. out, and yeah. so, okay, no, okay. so it's not hard. Absolutely. I either like it or I don't yeah. like yeah. it. There's not usually any in between. I know in seconds if I'm going to do it. Okay, okay, and Fabio, yourself on a production? Yeah, no, it's the same. No, I don't, I don't really do stuff. I'm too lazy, man. You know, <laughs> you got a label, though. Uh, yeah, I've got a label and stuff, yeah. but it's the same. The same effing that Connie said, you know, we, we, you know, as much as I love playing old school stuff and, you know, it, with, with drum and bass, I like to push new artists and soulful guys because, you know, at the top, you know, at, as in everything, like whether it's techno, house, whatever, the top, you get the generic music. And underneath, yeah. if you just dig deep, yeah. you will find the gems, man. And what you try and do is try and elevate these guys and make sure, you know, it's, it's worthwhile them doing it because it's now a real struggle you know, paying people even, it's really hard. So, you know, they've got to believe in you, you've got to believe in them, mm. and then hopefully it will work out. But as Colin said, there's amazing talent out there. Yeah. Just really little is. guys, like young kids, coming yeah. up, bringing me stuff, and I'm like, wow, how do you how do you do that? It's just like back in the day when Colin first introduced me to Derek May and, and Blake Baxter and Juan Atkins. It was so incredible Juan to Atkins. us. You know, it was incredible to us. It, the music amazing. was, was you know, I played It Is What It Is tonight, Rhythm Is Rhythm. Still mm -hmm. sounds the, great. And then them tunes, you know, it was, because everyone was like, computer music's not gonna have emotion. And then when you hear these guys mm. come out of Detroit and they was making this amazing music with so much emotion, and they still got it. 2013, you play those tunes and people are still, it's tugging at their heartstrings, man. Yeah. So, you know, those guys, and, and, and now it's come full circle. Now we are, kind of the masters of our kind of destiny, so to speak, and then we, we're trying to bring people through, so it's all good, man. Okay, thank you very much. Matt, any closing words, sir? 
it's been a good one. It's been a good one. It's been a good one. We are in the presence of absolute legends, Colin Banky. Big up the barn massive. Mario. You see, yeah, yeah, yeah. the thing is, he started me and Colin talking, and I tell you what, if you didn't shut it down, we'd be here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd start talking shit, you know what I mean? Me and Colin used to hang out playing music for like till two o'clock in the afternoon. That's what we used to do, and I'm not joking. No, we used really. to listen, when we we listen to the radio, yeah, and we, we used kids. to listen to pirate stations like really? 24 hours, man. And we used to do things like, it's so deep, right? I want to tell you this, this mad thing. We used to listen to brand new tunes and we used to say, we used to try and guess who the producers were. That's right. Who, who the arrangers yeah. were. Yeah, we used right. to know who, like, right. who arranged the strings or so stuff. So into it. That, that's how yeah. deep we were. We yeah. used to, I used to say, Colin, right, you've never heard this tune before, who's it by? And he used to go, right, I think it's produced by blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so it's coming out on this and that label. No, we were that. We were wrong 99% of the time, yeah. but you know, that's how deep we were into music, yeah. man. That's passion. No, it is deep, man, it's deep. Yeah. And that's why we're still doing I it. I mean, now. it wasn't a forced passion. It wasn't something no. we were doing to even try and further ourselves no. or anything like that. No, we were just doing it natural for no reason. No, honestly, it was like that. It was just for no total, reason. total love of the, yeah. love of the music. It wasn't we weren't interested in work for <laughs> girls or nothing. Like that. I was in yeah, general. I mean, <laughs> yeah, 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 I was. So was I. If you can edit that out. You know what I mean? Edit that out. No, you were. I was. Eat him. Anyway, I'm not even going to go into the Anyway, so much. Yeah, we're going to leave. So much. But respect to the bar, massive respect to my boy here. And hopefully, we will come. We will try and make this quite a regular thing. Yeah, I A couple of times a year to do this. This would just be amazing. Great night. You know, max respect going out to Matt as well, Fuji, because he's the guy that brings it all together. Yeah. Brings us all together. So, you, you know, yeah, and pays us as well. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, yeah, right. That's right. right. So we've right. got to go. Right. Yeah. 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 Let's do this. Let's do this. You know what's the party? I'm going to grab that. It's Fabio Colin Dale. Wicked man. Voodoo Junkie, thank you yeah, very much. Yeah, well, That's yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Ye